If you have a list in Python, you might want to cycle through each element in the list, and that's called an iteration. A for loop is typically used to iterate a list, and you can get an index error if you try to access an element outside the range of the list. For example, if your list has five elements and you're trying to access the six element, which doesn't exist, you would get an index error. There's also an enumerate function, which iterates a list and provides a counter variable. And there are also several useful list functions that exist that also iterate over a list. There's the all function, which is true if all elements in the list are true, meaning not equal to zero, or returns true if the list is empty. There's the any function, which returns true if any element in the list is true. There's the max function, which returns the maximum element in the list. The min function returns the minimum element in the list, and the sum function returns the sum of all the list elements. Let's try out some examples of these functions and also show you guys how to iterate through a list using a for loop and the enumerate function. In this following example, we have a list of pets. We have dog, cat, monkey, fish, and snake. And we can easily print the entire list all at once by just saying print pets run the program and it'll print out all of them all at once. So that's just prints the entire list. If you wanted to iterate through the list of pets, meaning going through each element one at a time and then printing it out, we can use a for loop for pet in pets. And this pet variable could have been anything that you wanted. You could, let's just call it anything, for example. And we could just say print anything. And anything is going to first be dog, then cat, then monkey, then fish, then snake. Run the program. There it is. But it makes more sense to say pet, the singular version of the list name pets. And it does the exact same thing. No effect on it. If you wanted to print out the index in addition to the value of each element in the list, we can do something like this for index in range, and let's specify the length of the list using the len function. We'll pass pets there, and we'll say that the value is pets at that specified index. And then we'll print using fstring the index colon value. Okay, let's try that. And now we could see we have indexes 0 through 4 and followed by each value or each element in that list. Dog is index 0, cat is index 1, monkey is index 2, fish is index 3, and snake is index 4. There's also an enumerate function we can also try out. Let's try that out for pet in enumerate pet print pet. And this is what this does. It prints out a tuple of the index followed by the value of each pet. So that's another way to iterate through your list. And then finally, let's check out some of the functions that iterate through a list, and these are built-in functions into Python. The first one was the all function, and that prints true if every element in the list is not empty or not zero. So let's try that. Print all pets. Should give us true. Yep. Let's create a new list actually with numbers. Make this a little bit easier. List zero one two, three. Let's print that out. That should also give us true because everything is non-zero. But if something was zero, then we'll get false. We can also try the any function, which will give you true if anything in the list is not zero. That's true. But if everything was zero, then we get false. We could also, let's change this back to some normal numbers, 4, 8, 10. We can get the max item in the list, so the biggest number is 10. 
We can also print out the minimum item in the list. The minimum, smallest number is four. And the sum. So 10 plus eight plus four gives you 22. So that's it for iterating through a list. Thanks for watching and check out our next video where we learn about nested lists.